Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Naninga. Welcome to Nene's Glam World. And today we are going to be doing a rose. Okay, the theme is rose, pink, pink colored eyeshadow theme. And I'm so excited to do this because I actually used to love pink colored eyeshadows a while back. And I just realized I have not done it in a long time. Ever since I did, I think, my Valentine series, I've not been able to do pink eyeshadow makeup so let's just get into the video and we've already started so the first thing i did is that i did shape my eyebrows and then i filled them in with an eyebrow pencil and then now i'm going over it with a dark brown um eyebrow wax and this particular eyebrow gel is actually by the brand pastel and it's a dark brown eyebrow gel and then now it's time to define our brows for those of you who are new to this channel or who are new to makeup defining brows is just making sure that your eyebrows are visible on your face and it's specifically done for people who have a similar skin tone to me or darker uh specifically because you know yeah we are basically the same color as our eyebrows so to avoid that and make your eyebrows more visible i've gone in with a ala girl pro conceal concealer and that is the shade phone and i've applied it all around my eyebrows not on top of the eyebrows just around them and then now what i'm applying on my face is a face cream and that is actually the neutrogena aqua gel and that's just a moisturizer that i normally use just to make sure that i get proper you know things on my skin before i apply the makeup and then now that i have done that the next thing we're going to do is that we are going to blend out i decided not to blend out the concealer immediately so we are going to blend out that concealer right now the concealer that i applied all around my eyebrows and we we're just blending it out and making sure that it doesn't have any harsh lines on the face and then now it's time to prime our face with our makeup primer and the makeup primer that i am using is by maybelline and that's their fit me primer that's their mattifying primer when i'm just applying it like on my t-zone and also on my chin yeah and on my nose basically where i get to shine now i've avoided my forehead because i've already installed the wig and i just don't feel like applying so many things on my forehead so but you can definitely apply uh, your primer on your forehead and sometimes all over your face if need me so what we are doing after that is that we are taking the LA Gal color corrector that is an orange color corrector and it's used to color correct dark spots just make them less visible under the makeup and i've just applied them in the areas that I've, i feel are too dark so i'm just dabbing 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 it in uh using a beauty blender just to make sure that it's properly blended you also don't want it to be visible so visible on your skin like evident skin change um so that's a damp beauty blender and i'm just going to dab 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 that in and today what we're going to do is that we are going to do underpainting i rarely do underpainting on this channel for those who do not know underpainting is when you apply your concealers uh basically everything else below your foundation yeah instead of on top of it and so what i've done is that that is the maybelline super stay concealer that i've just applied like uh, below, uh, on my under eyes in the areas that i want highlighted is where i've applied the very light concealer that you're seeing so on my eyelids because it's eyeshadow is going to go there that's also a reason that i've applied it on my eyelids and also around my mouth just for a brightening effect and then i've gone in with this boohoo blush um, it was just a one pound blush that I got off the Boohoo website and it's like a rosy, you know, liquid blush. So now we are just going to blend that out and we are dabbing it in using a flat brush. And then afterwards, we are definitely going to use a beauty blender for a proper final finish.
It's red. It's time for foundation and as usual you guys know that on this channel we are not going to be using one foundation because we have not found the perfect foundation shade for our skin. So what I'm going to do is that I've mixed two foundation shades and the first one that I've done is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation which is the shade Cappuccino and then I've mixed it with the Rimmel Kind and Free um, foundation and that is the shade actually it's a skin tint and that is the shade deep mocha and i've just mixed the two and we are going to blend i know it looks a bit crazy but after blending it out i promise you guys it is going to look amazing so uh, what i've done is just that i've just applied it on my skin with a spatula just to let it sit and then i'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender and just pat it into my skin as you can see it is blending beautifully I know I said that I was going to underpaint my eyes but what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add an extra layer on top of that foundation. Those who have been on this channel long enough know that I normally use two concealers specifically for my under eyes and I used one for underpainting and then the one that I'm using now for overpainting is the Rimmel Kind and Free um, concealer and it's a, a it's it's a really blendable concealer as you guys can see it has just disappeared into the foundation and that's the reason i used it on top of this and then now we are going to bake everything bake my under eyes and essentially where i had under painted just to make sure that i do not sweat off that makeup so what i've done is that i've just used the black opal setting powder for that step and then we now do our eyes most of the time on this channel i start with my eyes and the eyeshadow but in today i decided to start with the face first and then we are going to finish off with the eyes and the lips so i've just used a rosy pink shade of eyeshadow for and i'm just applying it in the crease of my eye and then afterwards i am going to go in with a very pale pink which is almost like white and i'm just going to apply it in the inner corner of the eyelid uh, so after that i'm just going to take like some glitter and apply it to the center of my eye just for like a shimmer effect i wouldn't call it glitter but it's just a shimmery eyeshadow uh, that i'm applying right now to the center of the eye and that is it for the eyeshadow um then i'm going to do my lower eyelid and for the lower eyelid i think i'm just going to take that same same shimmer shade and i'm just going to apply it like i wouldn't call it my waterline but like my lower lid if it does exist that's where i'm applying that shimmery shade sort of like a silvery shimmer shade and i'm also applying it in the inner corner of the eye as you can see and then i'm just going to take this eyeliner this is by zaron cosmetics and it's the one i'm just going to apply like a tiny tiny wing the tiniest of wings that you can possibly imagine just to like create you know to define my eye and i'm also going to tight line my waterline but i'm not going to create like a proper cat eye wing if you know what i mean So after lining my lips very thickly with a black pencil, just trust the process. <laughs> I, I know it looks a bit weird. Um, what I'm going to do is that I'm taking this Maybelline lipstick um, and I am going to apply it all over. This is just a normal Superstay matte lipstick. I'm just going to like 
use a brush to blend that out together with the I'm using a brush to blend it out together with the lip liner so that it can be like a blended lipstick and then I'm going to go in just to create a two-tone lip effect I'm going to go in with a lighter shade and that is still a Maybelline lipstick but this one is the shade Amazonian um, and I'm just going to apply it like on my lips but below just concentrating on the lower lip and as I say just to create like a two-tone lip effect and then for lip gloss I'm just going to go in with that Dior uh, lip gloss and before I put on my lip gloss, I'm going to go all around uh, my lips with concealer just to ensure that, you know, they're really popping. They're really visible on my face, you know. And I'm just going to go all around with a very, very thin layer of concealer. Don't apply it on thick and then blend it out. And then before I blend it out, I'm going to go in with the lip gloss that I mentioned. And I'm just going to cover it all over my lips I absolutely love this gloss and then after that we are going to blend that out make sure that it's thoroughly thoroughly blended with a brush and then voila look at how juicy those lips are just don't tell me that they look amazing and then now I'm just going to remove all the setting powder that I had actually applied on my face all of it make sure that you've removed each and every bit of setting powder and then I'm just going to do my lower lash line with mascara and after applying mascara after doing mascara on my lower lash line I am going to do a little bit of highlighter on my nose and this is not an actual highlighter this is the NYX liquid eyeshadows and that's uh, I believe the coconut one is it called coconuts can't remember the name but I'm sure to write it somewhere in this video and uh, that's what I'm going to use it's a liquid eyeliner but I'm going to use it as a nose highlighter because it does produce a really really good effect on the nose and then now I'm just going to apply blush powder and I'm just going to like dab a little bit on, you know, the front of my cheeks because I don't want those like really high cheekbones because I have naturally high cheekbones. And, you know, I'm just dabbing it very, very lightly all over my cheeks and my cheekbones. 